Hi and welcome to this week's coffee tip. Um, it's all about the marquee tool and the, the filter elements we have, you know, filter and cut elements, which you can get up also in here on the, the elements in 3D view, filter, cut elements. So see, control, Alt, A, and you get this up. Okay, first thing is the marquee tool, I use it all the time. It just speeds up so much of my model, modeling. A right, couple things. You can stretch stuff, that's the first thing. I just go and make a marquee, and anything within here you can stretch, and it stretches straight away. Important in this case is anything you got grouped, you have to suspend the group because if, you, if you've grouped it, you can't stretch it. Okay? Right. Let's go to level one. I've got something here to show you. All right, level one. The next bit is with the marquee tool. I use this a lot for selecting stuff, right? You can see I've got um, this sunshade here, which is an object, and I've got the table, which is an object tool. So you can obviously use find and select to select something, but for me, if I, as example, wanted just quickly to um, select my tables, I rather use the marquee tool and go there. And just anything within the marquee tool if I go now to my um, object and select all, you can see it just selects any object with this, within this marquee tool. So it doesn't select now the other object. So now I could just say, oh, let's drag this a bit around and go there. Again, they're small, there's just, they're just small tips, but it really helps me speeding up by modeling instead of, as I can you know, use and find, and then I move it around. The other bit we can do is with the marquee tool, obviously, is let's just go around here and we go into 3D. And as you can see at the moment, the marquee tool is on single story. I'll show you this after if you have multiple stories. So in this case, it's a bit annoying. Some of my elements, I went over several stories. So what you can do is you can go in here and say, oh, I would like to limit this to level one so from level one to level one and obviously you go and trim elements to story range okay if that's not on i'll show you it doesn't do anything but if you got that on there you go so we'll trim it down and it's much easier to work in again so now obviously you can just um you know pick this one and let's just move this as example over here and we have another look. Okay, so use this frequently, um, you know, trim elements and story to story, it is really useful. Okay, what else we got? Now, as I mentioned before, if you go to the marquee tool and we use the double frame, I call it, and then obviously if we go into 3D, it will take the, the lot of the stories if I go back here to infinite. All right, so we'll take all the stories, cut it through. I'm sure you've done it before. Um, but again, just a small tip here. You can actually go the other way around if you need to, okay? A lot of people don't know this and they miss this because you can go here and say, oh, I want this outside the marquee. So if I hit OK now, I had my marquee, it will show me anything outside. See, there you go. And that's sometimes useful too. So as you can see, it even obviously cut all the way up a, a hole in here. So if we go back, this is exactly where my marquee, marquee tool is. Okay. All right, and while I'm at it, the other bit is you can do, let's just cut it a bit more like this. Okay, so one more option is in the marquee tool if that's ever needed is you can, go in here and you can give it a custom surface. Um, let's make it black as example. And anything that cuts, it will just show up in black, see? So that can be a very useful tool for presentation purposes mainly. But um, yeah, again, very useful little tip there. In regards to the stretching, maybe one more thing is, if you go and stretch this out here, let's just, stretch this this way and now obviously if we have a look in 3d 
All right, so I stretched this out, as you can see, and it stretched a lot over all the stories. So that's maybe something you have to be careful if you then just use the single frame, it will only do it on one story. So if we go over there again. All right, it only did it here. So, th so that's a very useful tool if you have the double marquee, but you have to be careful because I've done it before. I used the double marquee, stretched something and just realized a bit later that it also stretched all the way up my stories and I didn't really want to. So you, you just gotta be careful with this one. All right, and there's one more thing I'd like to show you today is, don't forget you can obviously use the marquee tool like this. And in this case, as example, I just go this way, all the way around. And again, they're columns. So I go columns, select all, because I don't want to select those columns here. I only want those ones selected. And as example, let's make them 300. Beautiful for this exercise. There you go. So they're thicker now. Didn't affect any of those columns. So again, use this. It is just really, really useful. The whole marquee tool and the selection of filter and cutting elements. I use it all the time. It speeds up my modeling. It speeds up work, which is a great thing. All right, I hope to see you next time. Bye for now.